morning. It is an absolutely beautiful fall day, if you can't tell. So I decided to come uptown to Central Park. I haven't been to the park in a really long time. The trees aren't like fully turning yet, but the leaves of like some of them started to fall off. So I don't know, I just felt like coming up here, I grabbed a coffee and I'm just gonna like meander around and kind of just do whatever I feel like doing, whatever will make me happy. I don't know, I'm just kind of going with it. I came obviously by myself. I feel like I do most things by myself. When I'm out and about here, it's so common for me to see, like everyone I feel like here is doing their own thing. I don't know if that, that does not make sense. Duh, Every, of course everyone's doing their own thing. What? But moving here and living alone, doing most things alone, as I've noticed like a lot of people do here, I have gotten really used to having fun alone. I did most things alone and I've always been really comfortable doing that like I never felt weird just like going out somewhere by myself um, but then the second I turned the camera on all of a sudden I'm the most awkward and like self-aware human being ever and I feel like everyone's looking at me and I know that literally nobody is but Okay, I found a good rock to sit on. And it's like kind of far enough away from everyone else that I'm not really uncomfortable to talk. But the road is literally right there, which is definitely a downside. It's so funny how my social anxiety flares up when I'm not even in a social situation. Like I'm not speaking to anybody, but just being around other human beings in public and like pulling my camera out even after five years of doing this, it just does not get better. <laughs> so I am really sorry if you can like not hear me or if the traffic is loud. Like I was saying, I spend a lot of time with myself and I don't think that that is a bad thing. Obviously social interaction and having friends and like having social time with other people is very important, don't get me wrong, but at the end of the day, you are really the only person that you have in life. You you know yourself better than anyone else can ever know you. So you might as well get comfortable with yourself and like your own company, love your own company. Personally, not to sound conceited, but I love my own company. I also love living alone, that's besides the point. I think another reason why I tend to do a lot of things alone is because I don't like to wait for other people to wanna do stuff with me. Like if I wanna go to the park and either nobody wants to go or they can't go, why would I not go just because no one else can come? Like that doesn't make sense. I feel like talking about this makes me sound like I hate people and I really don't. I think it's important to be able to have fun alone and truly just enjoy your own company and also feel comfortable just being by yourself. The more you enjoy your own company and the more time you spend with yourself, the less dependent you become on others. And like I said, don't get me wrong, I love social interaction, I love hanging out with my friends, but I also love and value and cherish my me time. It doesn't even have to be doing anything like out of the house like this. I just enjoy sitting honestly in my apartment and like watching a TV show by myself. Like, I don't know. Is that like loner-ish? I've always been a pretty independent person so the idea of just spending time with myself has never really been that difficult for me. I think that what makes it difficult is it takes confidence 
to go out and go places by yourself and do things by yourself. You don't have someone else to kind of lean on if you feel awkward in the situation. You know that you have at least somebody to turn to. I went to a concert by myself like last month. That was kind of scary. Like I'm not gonna lie, I had never done that before. I had never done something by myself on that scale. I literally went to a Harry Styles concert by myself and I was in the pit so I was kind of just standing there. The idea of it before I went, I was like oh this will be fine and then I got there and I kind of was looking around and realizing how many other people like it literally felt like I was the only one that was there alone I was observing other people I feel like a lot more than I usually do and I was just seeing that like everyone had someone else that they were there with and then I there was just kind of me like standing there but I feel like I gained a lot of confidence from doing that I feel like really the only way to gain confidence in doing things alone is to do things alone even if it makes you super uncomfortable the idea of it or even being there it makes you uncomfortable i can guarantee that you're gonna feel better after you did it just because you were able to do it you got through it and you made it out on the other side i felt so like socially awkward in that situation just because i was literally by myself and i didn't know what to do so i was kind of just like on my phone the whole time but i feel like now that i have done it once I could do it again because I know, you know, what it entails. I know how I felt and maybe I can find ways to not feel that way the next time, but I've already done it once. So, you know, at least I have some past experience to go off of. So I think that doing things alone takes confidence, but it also builds confidence, which is really important. Another example, it can be really intimidating asking for a table for one. Do anything crazy to have fun spending time alone. You could just walk somewhere, drive somewhere. I don't know. It doesn't have to be this grand like outing. I also think that it's very much I look this ooh wow. Like I was saying before I saw how I looked in that lighting and got a little bit conceited. I think that it's very much a mindset and an attitude thing more than anything. Some people just have the mindset that Things aren't as fun if you're not doing them with somebody else or you don't have someone else to share them with. But I would argue, it's like I'm walking on the side of a road or something, that's crazy. As are most other things in life, enjoying time by yourself is just about changing your attitude on it. Your mind is obviously very powerful, so you kind of just have to convince yourself that you enjoy it. Fake it till you make it. That's how most people do most things. And it seems to work. So, yeah, that's my two cents on that. <laughs> 